No matter how you feel about cats, you're going to find this one interesting. The unfunny reason why cats hate cucumbers. Now, I'm sure you've all seen the memes, gifs, and videos of cats literally leaping into the air in fright at the sight of a cucumber. Hey, I used to do that at the sight of Brussels sprouts. Now, this can look outright hilarious to us humans, and it seems so random that an animal related to the ferocious king of the jungle would be so scared of a simple fruit. So, what's the deal anyway? Why do cats find cucumbers so repulsive that their initial reaction is to scamper away when they see one? Well, we're as puzzled as you are. So, let's see what experts have to say about this cat versus cucumber phenomenon. But before we get into the science behind your kitty's fear of the dreaded cucumber, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll always be the first to see all the informative and insightful videos coming out daily on the Bright Side of Life. So, it usually goes like this. A pet owner will quietly place a Once the cat turns around and notices this strange green elongated thing lying there on the ground, It'll either jump up in fear and run away, or stand there in wide-eyed amazement at the fruit. The especially brave kitties will even engage in a nudging battle with it. We get our kicks out of watching this whole thing go down, but what's going through a cat's brain during all of this? Don't forget that cats are basically miniature lions that sometimes show dominance, impulsiveness, and a bit of neuroticism like my neighbor. It's natural for this stealthy creature to be suspicious, which is sometimes mistaken as being curious of their surroundings, especially in an unfamiliar environment. Domestic cats, even though you always find them lounging on top of a bookshelf or dozing on your couch, are still highly skilled predators and always in a state of heightened alert when they hunt for their prey. They're wary of flashing lights. Ah, the infamous laser dot. Noisy toys and any moving items before them. And they're not really afraid of us humans since, in the words of Dr. John Bradshaw, a biologist at England's University of Bristol who studied cat behavior for 30 years, our feline friends only think of their owners as a larger, dumb, non-hostile cat. Or, to make it less offending, a mama cat. So why on earth are they such scaredy cats when it comes to cucumbers? Animal experts aren't quite sure. They have a few theories, but they all agree that cats aren't petrified of the cucumber itself. Certified animal behavior specialist Dr. Roger Mugford puts it down to simply being caught off guard during a moment of vulnerability. Remember, a lot of these pet owners sneak up on them when they're eating, which is when a lot of creatures, whether human or animal, feel most relaxed, and place the cucumber behind their back. So, just imagine if someone snuck up on you from behind while you were blissfully having a meal. Of course you'd be startled! And probably not by the person themselves, if you know them at least, but just by the mere unexpectedness of it all. Another theory is that cats mistake cucumbers for snakes, the feline's true mortal enemy, other than dogs, maybe. According to Dr. Konstantin Slobotchikov, an animal behaviorist and professor at Northern Arizona University, the long green shape of a cucumber looks enough like a snake to have the cat's instinctive fear of the reptile kick in. Our feline companions are hardwired to avoid these slithering beings at all costs because, well, snakes can kill. Ah, your cat's not quite as dumb as you thought. Whether it's because of the fear of the unknown or a phobia of snakes, it's still not a good idea to pull the cucumber prank on your poor kitty. Actually, 
The same goes for bananas, pineapples, or fake spiders. They can evoke the same strong reaction. Simply put, cats are not used to being caught off guard, again, especially when they're eating and have their guard down. Startling them for fun can do some serious damage on their psyche. You're basically tricking them into thinking there's a deadly predator or danger nearby, which causes them psychological harm and stress. Of course, I know you don't want that for your fur baby, but once again, let's take it from the experts. Dr. Slobachikov says it can inflict psychological trauma not only because of the cucumber, but also the places where the green invader was presented to them. According to the pet care site VetBabble, it can lead to anxiety, aggressive behavior, and even PTSD. Cat behavior consultant Dr. Michael Delgado explains that if cats feel threatened, particularly at their food stations, they can lose their appetite. And when cats don't eat, they can develop life-threatening fatty liver disease. Cats love to be in control. They're a creature of habit, so they can become distressed when their human changes their routine or does something unpredictable. Based on a study conducted by the College of Veterinary Medicine at The Ohio State University, cats may exhibit sickness behaviors in response to unusual external events, like the infamous cucumber stunt. The common sickness behaviors are vomiting, refusing to eat, diarrhea, and urinating outside the litter box. Marilyn Krieger, a certified cat behavior consultant, points out other symptoms that your cat might be suffering from stress. They're more clingy to you or other members of the household. Or the exact opposite, they hide from or avoid all contact with you. Again, they have problems using the litter box. They develop psychogenic alopecia or over-grooming that leads to hair loss. They eat non-edible items like socks, plastic bags, wood, or rubber. They vent feelings on your other pets, if you have any, or other people. They demonstrate nervous, jumpy, or skittish behavior. Furthermore, they may injure themselves, break something, or become more stressed. Our furry feline buddy is a sensitive being which is why you should be a considerate pet owner. You don't want your kitty to distrust you or feel on edge in their own home. So, be a responsible and caring mama cat by gradually introducing new items, such as cucumbers, to them. Let them study it at a safe distance and get familiarized with the object on their own terms instead of shoving it in their face or behind their back. Yes, it's certainly amusing and entertaining to watch those cat versus cucumber or cat not like banana videos and have a good laugh. Since cats, unlike their canine counterparts, are models of being cool, calm, and collected, seeing them go out of character is a rare and funny sight to behold. But try to put yourself in their shoes, or paws that is, and think how would I react and feel if someone scared the heck out of me over and over again in my own home? What may seem like innocent fun could be considered animal cruelty if you think about it. And while that might be true that not all cats hate cucumbers, it's still not a valid reason to experiment this trick on them, even for the sake of science. So please, don't scare your poor kitties and speak up when you see someone else doing it to theirs. Which of these scientific explanations of cat's cucumber phobia do you think is true? And how do you feel about all those videos online showing this sort of thing? Tell us in the comments below! Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and get the message out there by sharing it with your friends. Hit that subscribe button to stay on the bright side of life!